fifty. I get it. I get it. To my family defaulting, the removal of federal aid. Oh, I have chosen my words carefully, Lisa. Perhaps you should have done the same. This is blasphemy! This is madness! Madness? This is credit card debt time! Fact one total consumer credit is $1.7 and the average debt carried by them in American is $8,562, one of the highest in the world. Maybe if I knew about defaulting interest, I wouldn't have to serve a billionaire team. Fact. Did you know? The number of credit card holders who declared bankruptcy is 1 million. But don't worry, over 144 million Americans have credit card debt each year. And in addition to that, even Uncle Sam has some credit card debt. He has $596,457945.78. Exactly! That's a lot of debt. That equals out to $2079063 for each American to pay. Fact 3. 1 in 20 Americans owe $8,000 or more to credit card company. <laughs> It's okay, man. The easiest way to pay off your credit card debt is to pay off your bills as soon as you get them. Credit card companies call these people deadbeats because they don't make any money off of them. Was that Donna from that 70s show? Fact 4. 23.8% of Americans have no credit card debt. <laughs> I'm going to teach you little tips and tricks to take people's money with credit cards. Step one, make fees really high. Last year we ranked in $43 billion in credit card fees. Two, fixed interest rates. They are not actually fixed. <laughs> they can be changed with only 15 days of notice. Step three, make interest as high as you want. There's no federal law regulating how much credit card companies can charge. Four, even if you are five minutes late, you can still get charged a late fee. Due dates can be at any time of the day, even 1 p.m. Great. Fact five. Debit is the biggest problem for adults between ages 25 and 45. Don't spend more than you can. You know, it's, it's easy to get carried away with a credit card. You just keep spending and spending. And it's very easy to have that balance be more than you can pay off each month. And that's when people get into trouble. If you plan on going into debt, do have a lot of fun. Because once you're in debt, you're pretty much stuck there forever. So make it really worth it. Um, for example, don't spend your credit card on gas or something like that that uh, is not going to be around when you are crying in a heap of credit card bills. Spend it on something fun that will be around for a long time. Of course, I guess the best thing is don't get into credit card debt, but for most people that's not realistic. Fact 6. 48.5% of Californians that have credit cards have two credit cards. Ooh, credit cards. Ooh, fancy seeing you here. As you know, defaulting is usually a good thing, but I bet you've never even heard of it in the context of credit cards. Credit cards is when you miss a payment and you forget to notify your service provider in 270 days. If this happens, then sometimes the credit card company will harass you and even get rid of your federal benefits. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you in trouble with some of your payments? It seems you're light on a few of your credit cards. No, I think I'm fine. I just ran into a little bit of money troubles. So, uh, where's my money, man? You haven't uh, communicated to me any financial hardships, or do you want help? I mean, or how are we supposed to help? Well, what payment did I miss? You know it. <sighs> don't act like you don't know. You know what payment you missed. Hey! If you continue to miss payments, we will take legal action. 
87 was a crazy year. I, I don't care. I do not care. You know what? Lil Bow Wow was born in 19 ever said. He's 20 now. The payment's 20 years old. I want my way. Bill garnished your wages. Like the stuff on a hot dog? Hot dogs? Who say anything about hot dogs? You got money for hot dogs, but you can't pay guests? No, I mean, some of your money will be given to us by a judge's decision. <laughs> will my federal benefit program still be able to help me? No. Kiss the federal assistance goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Fear not, fair maiden. There are some simple ways to avoid defaulting. How? How? Make sure you always communicate with your shareholder or lender. And just, just like let them know, like, hey, I messed up. I bought a flat screen. I cannot afford this, man. Just like, just communicate with them and just always pay your stuff on time. Make sure you get a loan if you only really need the money. And consider acquiring money from outside sources. Hey ladies. Uh, hey. You guys want a holla? Come on, Dalla. Kids these days. None of them know about simple interests. They know nothing. They just don't know about economics like they used to. Silly noobs, interest is divided into two kinds, simple and compound. But I don't think I should explain this. I think it should be left to simple interest man and compound interest man, who are women. Halt you heathen of high payments. You're steadily increasing payments have gone on long enough. Silence thyself, you ignorant core. Your foolish ways of simply charging people a non-drastic amount provides no profit and makes loaning money useless. Argfeld demon, thou art true. My interest is simple and provides very low profit. <laughs> My steadily increasing interest always wins. The longer you put off the payments, the higher the interest gets. Are you the two famous female mathematicians who cracked the debt equation? Yes! <laughs> yes, we are. Could you please explain it for our movie? Yes. <laughs> Meads, and I'm about to show you how to solve your debt using this simple equation. As you can see, P stands for principal, which is the amount you spend at first. In here, this is the interest rate, which is the percent at which your interest goes up. And this N right here stands for time, which is usually number of months, which is the 12th. This equation right here can help you solve your debt and figure out how to do everything. As long as you plug in everything you need to know, you're good to go! Tengo dinero.